Hi, everyone. Dr. Bill Diamond here. I want to officially welcome you to the holiday season. It is upon us. But I think we all know it's going to be a very different holiday experience for you, your teams, your family. And I'd like to quickly give you five things that could maybe make this holiday season better than ever, even in the middle of the pandemic. So number one, what could you do to make this more meaningful for your work team or your family? Well, the first thing is that there's going to be a lot of things that will be stripped away events, activities, things that are obligations that you just won't have to do. And you'll be able to choose to do some things that will make it more meaningful. I want you to look for that. I am not missing the ugly sweater contest at work. That is something that I'm glad that will be left last year. And you may have some things like that as well. But you know, faith and family, I come from a Christian background, giving to others, gifts, all the whole holiday season. It's a wonderful thing for my family and I, and I love it every year but it's gonna be different, but it's not gonna keep it from being meaningful. And I would challenge you, I think it could be the most meaningful time you've had in many, many years. So how will you do that for your company? How will you do that for your family? We'll talk about some more things. The second thing is this idea that it's never been a better time to reach out. And with social distancing, you can avoid that weird uncle. And doesn't every family have a weird uncle or aunt? Well, I wanna give you permission to not have to go see him. But there's need everywhere. It's kind of like shooting at the ground. You're not going to miss. There are people that haven't heard from you that need to, customers that need to be reached out to and not necessarily sold, family members, colleagues that need to tell you their story to be encouraged. You can be that, and that will make this holiday season extra, extra special. Well, the third thing is end the year with hope. End the year with this idea that you could be better than you've been, that things could end on a high note. As one person said, we'll get through this pandemic as a hunk, a chunk, or a drunk. And wherever you are, where you have, whether you have the pandemic 15 or you've been quarantined fit, this is a time to say, you know, what could I do that would be hopeful? What could I do to light that candle? It will be really important to do that. And I want to talk to some of you who are very much into resiliency and all. How could you champion something that would be an end of the year that would be worthy of the year you've gone through to say, this is our moment of hope. We've had a rough year. It's now time to get back to it and let's do something special. And then number four, to honestly look at our highs and lows, to look at some things over the year, to reflect what we've lost, what we've gained, and to end with a sense of gratitude. I think we all need to have a conversation about that with our family, with our team members, even our clients. Talk about what we have gone through and celebrate gratitude together. And then finally, right size your holiday experience. Some of you, your organizations, your family, you have a crazy number of things that you normally do. And this is the year where I just wanna give you permission, absolve you from that, say, you don't have to do all those things. You can do something that's very, very special. That could be what you wanna do. This could be the year where you skip that fruitcake or skip that holiday tradition you never liked anyway. Hey, this could be a very meaningful time to even start a new tradition. So I always like to end with this idea of, what will your pandemic story be? It's 20 years from now. You're talking to a child, a granddaughter. You're talking to somebody you used to work with. They're asking you, hey, what was it like for you during that period of the pandemic? And you tell them this. You tell them what you did. You tell them how you went through that. Well, with that in mind, I just want to wish you all a very, very happy holiday season. I want to acknowledge that things will be different, but I want to hear from you some of the things that you're doing defiantly, resiliently to write your own story and to reach out to others. This is Dr. Bill Diamond. Happy holidays.